What is going on guys, Mr. Techers135 here and I'm back with the second episode of Crack It Like Carol, the series where we try and score 20 goals as quick as possible with the big lanky bastard that plays for West Ham, that is Andy Carroll. If you did not see the last episode then please pause the video now and go check that out, I was introducing the series and stuff like that, just telling us what we're going to be doing. If not, then enjoy this video, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy, and subscribe for more and let's jump to the first game of the episode. Alright then guys, so in the first game of the episode, we're coming up against this guy. I believe that's the Ruben Kazan uh, badge, I'm not too sure, I think that's the new one. To be honest with you, I prefer the old one. We're go. Ooh, he's got a French squad with two players that don't make sense and a centre mid at right back. So hopefully, hopefully we can do something here. But he has got quite a quick defence with Mexes and Mangala. And he does have Remy and Biabiani, so I'm going to have to be wary of them. So they are some pretty OP players. So as you guys can see at the bottom of the screen, we have our amazing Crack It Like Carol banner made by moi, myself, and yes, it's going to top up the games and the goals so we don't get lost, so we don't end up saying, oh, we scored 20 goals in one game, because let's be honest, that's what I would do, because I'm lazy. But um, as you can see there, the keeper makes a mistake, rolls it out, Andy Carroll jumps in front of the defender, just finesses around him, Actually, a pretty good goal, I'm not going to lie, and um, it seems to be the keepers always, people always rush the goal kicks, which seems to give away a lot of goals, especially in online, they just, I don't know what they're doing, skipping it or something, but then he does go 2-1 up with uh, two headers, very annoying, one in the fifth, 45th minute as well, so going into half time, 2-1 down, but he makes another mistake with his keeper, and Roger Johnson headers it back into Andy Carroll, he turns on the swivel, and just punishes him and finesses it into the uh, top right corner. We already have two goals in one game, this is not going bad, and this episode, I'm not going to lie, we crushed some opponents with Andy Carroll. Look at this, the run, the cutback, taking two out of the equation, and that left foot, his left foot is brilliant, I really like it, he's pretty OP card in this game, just slots it into the top left corner, and again, here he goes, Great team play, passing it across the goal, as you do. Yes, that is skillful team play and not a sweaty goal, I shit you not. Then this guy decides, oh that's enough, 89th minute, I'm not going to win, and we get to give him our first... Dun dun dun, when's it coming? When's it coming? You, you guys know it's coming. I'm pretty sure you guys know it's coming. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Boom, GG bitch. That is what we're talking about. Andy Carroll gets four goals in that one game, which was absolutely outstanding. It was just, it was unbelievable. Um, but what we are going to do is go into another game, because that game ended so early. We've come up against a French team, Alessandrini, Benorfa, pretty good defence, and Remy up front. I never, never, ever like playing against Remy. He's so sweaty, and it's unbelievable. But we do try the KSI straight from kickoff, passing it back to um, him, playing up to Borriello. And I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty sure Borriello would have scored that. But um, here, this is just EA AIDS. Look at <laughs> It makes me laugh every time I watch it. Tries to chip the keeper, he saves it, hits it off his defender twice. And apparently that's Borriello's goal. I have no idea how, but that is apparently Borriello's goal, which was just unbelievable. But then he does get a nice little chip there, I believe that's Remy or Baby Annie, chipping it over the keeper, and then finish me, and then I actually get headed with Andy Carroll. That 88 heading coming into practice right then, whipping it in from the corner, doing that dead fish celebration, I really like that celebration, and we slot it in with Andy Carroll to get his fifth goal of the episode, and then he does decide to rage quit again, and we give him another one, that's right. GG. So anyway guys, if you did enjoy the second episode of Crack It Like Carol, then please leave a like on the video.